This is Minecraft at 2D, and this is Minecraft at 4D, and we're gonna end up in 5D Minecraft. So let's begin our journey by unlocking 2D, 3D, 4D, and 5D. So we got 2D, 3D, 4D, and 5D, which you won't want to miss. And we gotta do 2D before we do all the rest of these. I can put a 2D item though, which can literally just be bread, and the door opens. And now without further ado, let's begin our first journey into 2D. Oh, we're in. 2D rolled, find the nether? Wait, oh, it's literally in 2D, yo. And so now that it makes the story in 2D, I guess we're in a village currently. Uh, just a normal villager. Okay, I think there's a sign over there though. Being in 2D feels weird, but it's all good. It's gonna get crazier, guys. This says rebuild the village and the caves will open. Oh, we gotta go down here then. Okay, so that's definitely blocked off and there's more stuff that way. So I gotta rebuild this village? How though? Oh, this. All right, well, good thing I already got some wood. We're gonna build his 2D house the best way we can. Oh gosh, okay, this is not gonna be the best looking house, but it's a 2D house, okay? Let's do that there. All right, that's house number one done. Do you like it? Yep, yep, yep. All right, and you're subscribed. Amazing, good, good stuff. And then this house right here, I guess we can do this. This. this is so strange building in 2D, but it's okay because now that's done. I can't really go left or right, but I think we now have a 2D village. Did we get the job done? Oh, we did. Now we have the caves. Oh, it's a mining guy. The heck is going on in here? Okay, 2D places are so weird. All right, what's up, man? Find the, their pickaxe and beware of danger. I see the danger. Oh my goodness, they're shooting me in a two-dimensional way. All right, you can only really go straight or up and down. Oh gosh, okay, okay. I don't even know what these guys are about, but let me go ahead and take care of them. Okay, we're supposed to find some pickaxe, but I don't see anything yet unless it's all the way back there. Oh, is that like a house thing? What type of cave is this? Oh, it's a mine shaft. Oh, wait, there's one back here. There we go. All right, it looks like we're about to be King Arthur in the pickaxe way because we're pulling it out of this. Oh, okay, we're pulling. Three, two, one, come on, pull, pull, and pull. One more pull, yet again, and we got it. The golden pickaxe. All this for golden, like, gonna be diamond? All right, I mean, I'm not complaining. And we have a locked up villager up there. One sec, let me go give the pickaxe back. All right, sir, there you go. Oh, and he gave us a flint and steel. Be careful with that pickaxe, buddy. Okay, what do I need the flint and steel for? Maybe this is for the nether. Because it did say get to the nether in the 2D world. And I gotta say, I kinda like 2D Minecraft. It's like Terraria a little bit. Kinda on the lookout for diamonds, but it doesn't look like we have any diamonds around here. But we have a locked up villager. Wait, it says arrow with a copper thing. The heck? I kinda wanna do this. Okay, do I get the copper thing? Okay, and then do I put it somewhere around here? Or wait, maybe I gotta make it face that way. Okay. Oh, oh, that worked. Yo, and we get the locked up villager. Welcome back, buddy. Wait, he won't come out. Do I break this? Oh, oh, he follows me. Oh, wait, hold up. Okay, this makes sense now, though. Because this door needs to stay open. So if I get him on this, then he stays on it. Okay, he's staying on it. We should be good. Oh, we can go up. All right, thank you, buddy. God save me. Here, maybe those will be heavy enough. I don't think they will. But now we're on to the next level of the mine shaft. Uh, hopefully there's no baby spiders. It looks like in the 2D world, it got cut off. So we should be good. Nice quick swim in the 2D world. And now we got to unlock with three fish. Oh, that's why we got the string. All right, don't worry. I'm an expert at fishing. And will this be 2D fish? I guess Minecraft fish in general are 2D, but it's all good. But now we fish. The heck is wrong with the rope? What is this? And third. All right, we got the three fish. One. Two, three. Oh, and door open. Pretty easy. Okay, well, let's make sure not to get on the spikes. And what is this? A uh, diamond pickaxe with efficiency 10. Yo, okay, I'll take that. Oh, are we supposed to complete the portal? I assume we gotta grab it from the sides. Wait, can I mine that? No, I can't. Hmm, unless. Oh, wait, I could grab this right there. There we go. Okay, let's grab that. Perfect. And now we have a portal. Nice. All right, break that. Light that up. And now the goal was to get into the nether. Here we go. Will the nether be 2D? Let's see. Oh, we're in an 2D nether. Okay, now the new goal was to find the end. Oh my gosh, okay, this place is weird. All right, let me grab some of this nether wart real quick. I hear a blaze above me. Oh, it's right up here. Maybe we should get blaze rods. I assume it might be smart for us to do so. All right, let's get one blaze rod right there. Thank you. And when in doubt, just get two. That's probably all we need. There we go, two blaze rods. Now with these, warning bastion. Watch me not need these at all, but it's okay. We, we got them for a good reason. Okay, how do I get across besides blocks? I guess oak planks could work. Okay, let's just go through here. Oh wait, and there's a portal over there. Maybe this is why we need the blaze rods. Okay, let's just get through here. Oh, and this is gonna be the bastion. I do not have armor for this. Oh gosh, did I just break through? Oh, yep, there they are. How's it going, guys? I don't have any gold on me, do I? All right, let's fight. Sorry about this, guys. Oh, and we have gold blocks. I think I hear some more picklins above. Let me just block that off. And this might be how we get ender pearls, actually. Oh yeah, because we do need ender pearls. Okay, I got the blaze rods and we just need ender pearls then. All right, let me grab these. That's gonna be 18 gold ingots. Let me check, is there anything else? No, it looks like we just gotta go up. Might be more gold blocks above. Hello, picklins. All right, let me let me drop them real quick. There we go. Okay. They should be stuck there now. Oh gosh. Okay. Okay. Stay down there guys. Cause now we have this plan. Oh, you do. All right. You can go down. Okay. There we go. And now we have a group of piglins. Yo, name them all through the comments down below. But now with these guys here, let me real quick drop 27 gold ingots. There we go. Get them trading. And hopefully that should be enough for some ender pulls. Oh, more gold blocks. Yes. Okay. I actually like this a lot. Gold block here. Let's go to grab this. 
And keep trading, guys. We gotta get to the 2D end. Then 3D, 4D, and 5D. What the heck is 5D even? How do you get 5D in Minecraft? Are we tasting it? How's it going, gentlemen? Are there any ender pearls in there? Oh, there are. Yo. Okay, should be good now. Sorry about this. Oh, gosh. Oh, this is a bad idea. Okay, there we go. And eight ender pearls. Nice. Okay, so all we gotta do now then is real quick get four of eyes of ender right there. And now let's see if that's enough. It looks like it should be enough. Please be enough. One, two, three, four. Oh, no, we need one more. Nice. Now we should be good. Let's put that down. Oh, and now the 2D end. Oh, gosh. Okay, there are endermen here. Oh, and lots of enderpearls. Nice. Oh, how's it going, guys? All right, so I guess we just got to go straight again. It is a 2D thing. And I assume we got an enderpearl around. I can make that jump, though. Let's just keep going. Oh, yep. We definitely got an enderpearl here. All right. Let's just do that. Let's make sure we don't die. Okay. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, and that was actually pretty easy. The return portal. Wait, it's a 3D time now. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Wait, wait. Nope. Oh, my gosh. Okay, we're going back. Dimension conquer. Now on to the next. Oh, and we now have a check mark on the 2D door. All right, so that makes 2D complete. And now there's not a barrier here, but there's a barrier for 4D. So we can't go to these two jets yet. Keep watching for that. Now let's go back to normal, but with a twist, I think, with 3D. All right, this one should be easy enough. 3D just needs a block, so let's put a block of gravel. Oh, and the door opened. Okay, time for the next one, guys. Let's see what happens. Oh, very normal. 3D world, complete tasks equals more realism. Wait, what? Oh, that's the twist. Unlocked with a 4096X realism. Huh? My computer's gonna break, guys. My computer's only gonna break right now. Okay, so right now we're completely normal, and I'm gonna guess every time I help one of these guys, our realism increases. Alright, let's start with the farmer, I guess. Alright, Mr. Farmer, what do you want for our next texture pack realism thing? Oh, he has a task list. What is this? Craft a realistic wheat. Okay, wait, two wheat equals 32x wheat. Oh, we're getting all the way to really realistic wheat. Alright, we might need a chest for this. Let me real quick do this. And the first thing of action is we gotta get all the wheat we can. Might be easiest if we do this. And so if we're gonna give him realistic wheat, do I just do this? Oh, 32x wheat. Okay, so we gotta make a lot of 32x wheat. Let's make eight of it. Cause now with 32x wheat, we combine it again and get 64x wheat. What the heck? And now with 264x wheat, we can make the 128x wheat. And I think this might be the perfect amount. Cause like, look at it guys, it's getting up there. But finally, is this just gonna be straight up bread? Oh no. And then we get the 256x wheat, perfectly realistic. Here you go. And this should increase my realism now in three, two, one, right click. Oh, and realism up. Yo, now this is 32x. Nice. It's gonna get higher. Oh, wow. Nice. Next up, let's up the crime villager. How will you up our realism so we can get to the 4,000 thing over there? Fix their house? It's all ruined. Let me first remove all the smoke. And the best way to fix all this is honestly just by rebuilding it. It's not gonna be pretty, but I can help. Oh, gosh. Yeah, and we're also gonna use gravel. It's it's nice looking though in HD form. All right, let's do that real quick. The top will be made out of a couple crime tables. Let's also remove all the fires. Get rid of this guy. Get rid of this guy here. There we go. And now with all the dirt we collected, all the fire is gone. And let's give him a roof. Perfect. Hold up. I got to borrow wood. Can make a gold axe, I guess. All right. Don't mind me. Just grabbing some wood here. And now a pretty normal oak door. All right. Nice. How do you feel about that? Hey, he's happy. And realism upgraded again. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is 64X. Not quite close to the goal though. All right. Next up, let's help out the mother villager. Hello. Like how there's still normal 16X. Oh, what's the problem? Kids are missing. Find her five children. Oh, gotcha. Oh, what the heck? That's so HD. Even the door. Well, I think we have the first baby villager right here. Let me real quick jump up here. And we just like right click them. Oh, nice. That works. That's one done. Next one is stuck on the roof of the building. How do they even get there? My goodness. That's two. Uh, looks like we have one down there. Are they in this cave? Oh, yep. They're in the cave. Oh, sorry about this. There you go. Number four is in this very HD looking tree. My goodness. All right. Let's real quick jump you down. There we go. This is probably something else. Final one took me a little bit because the trees are so HD. They kind of blended in. And there we go. All right, mother villager. All right. We did good. And oh, okay. Too realistic right now. Now. Even the targets are realistic. I lost track of the number, but that's the number. Let's go help the librarian. All right, Mr. Librarian, what would you like me to do? They're bored? Write them a story? Huh? Oh, okay. This is easy enough. Okay, let's real quick pull out the book. And I guess we're gonna get more reels in this. This is the story of how there was once a viewer watching an Exa Storio video and they weren't subscribed. And the legend said that if Exa Storio hits 10 million subscribers, he goes bald. That is all. So go ahead and click that subscribe button if it's red right now. All right, hopefully you enjoy the story. We're gonna go ahead and give it a title. There we go. Hey, Mr. Librarian, how's this? There we go. 
No! Oh, this looks a lot better. Oh my gosh, that's a real tree. The heck is that thing? Well, anyways, let's go now help this Fletcher. All right, how are you gonna increase my realism until we can get to that temple? Make and place three different banners. Wait, how do I make a banner? Oh wait, the stuff's right here. Okay, hold up. We got the sticks, we got the bread, all that good stuff, and a loom. So this is the main thing we needed. So we put down the HD crafting table. First, let's make three banners like he asked. One, two, three. There we go. How do they even look? Oh yeah, they look pretty nice. And then in the loom, all we need to do is put these and die. For example, dandelion. So if we do a dandelion right there, we can now make a design. So let's do the X for X Astorio. Nice. Get some more flowers just because why not? And we will do this thing because it looks pretty cool. And the bricks. Why not? Now, without further ado, do we just place them right here? Here you go, buddy. Three banners. That should look pretty cool. Happy with that? Hey, yeah, it's nice. Oh, and it's happened again. This is nice. Okay. Streets are so beautiful. And we're either going to do the mother villager or the blacksmith. Let's start with the mother villager. We're getting close to very high numbers of realism, by the way. Cake needed. Make a cake for the birthday. Ooh, I don't have any stuff for the cake besides wheat. Good news. Right by the hyper realistic water, we have good old sugar cane. Oh, and that's kind of cool. The grass is going into the sand. All right, we got the sugar. We got the wheat. Let's get some iron. I think this right here is iron. Yep, that definitely is iron. Let's get a good bit of that. This is copper. This is a furnace. Oh my goodness. Let's go to cook some stuff. And look at it go. That's where we get the milk also. Oh, wait, is that a pink forest? I've never seen one of those. Oh, that's sick. While that cooks, we got some chickens over here. Are there any dropped an egg? Oh, egg. Nice. Now we just wait. Iron done. Let's go to make all the buckets we need. One, two, three. And now we can make a cake. All right, villagers. There you go. One cake right there for everyone. I'm going to take a bite. Actually, sorry about that. And we're good. Oh, and it's increased again. Nice wood. Holy. Even that is HC. All right, Blacksmith, you're up. How right, are we going to get even higher textures? Oh, this is going to be uh, the taskless. By the way, if you guys can't hear, my computer's really loud right now. All right, what are we doing? Oh, wait, it's the wheat thing, but with iron pickaxes. Hold on. Does he provide iron pickaxes? Oh, he does. Okay, let me put away all this. Don't need this. Let me grab all these iron pickaxes. Wait, I can stack them? Huh? I can stack iron pickaxes. That is cursed. And so do we just do this? Oh, okay. So no iron pickaxes. I assume this is considered normal. We got the 32 pickaxe. So let's go ahead and make a bunch of 32 pickaxes. And then with 32 pickaxes, we can get the 64X pickaxe. Nice. We're already in a high resolution. So this is kind of like going backwards. Now we'll get the 128X. And then finally, the 256X, which is still not as HD as my actual pickaxe. Incredible. Anyways, oh, here you go, buddy. Oh, and it's happened again. Okay, let's go before the computer dies. But who do we have left now? Oh, here's one. I can barely see them. The grandma villager. Hello. How's it going, grandma? Clean her out. She's too old to. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness. Wait, there's a lot of trash. My goodness. So first we got to remove all these things right here. And inside we have a bunch of cobwebs. Let me get a sheer. This is going to make it a lot easier. Hold on. All right. Luckily they're easy to spot because they're not in HD. Whoa, gravel is HD. What the heck? All right, back to breaking. All right, there you go, grandma. And inside we just got to break these. Okay, let's get rid of all of this. There's a leaf right at the top. There we go. Get her some sunlight in there. Block this off by some rooted dirt. And I think that's the job all done. Nice. Oh, oh, and things are much more clear. Oh, wait, I think we're already at the final level. Because temple unlocked. Now we can go ahead and make our way inside. And okay, what are we getting ourselves into right now? Got my sword. Oh, well, this doesn't look very easy. Oh, gosh. All right, we're doing this. Oh, my gosh. Why is it four block jumps? Okay, skeleton temple thing. Of course it is. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh, we're so close to dying. Oh, yes. Oh my goodness. All right. Quick little bread break. And this says light the lamps and the door will open. Oh, shears and a diamond hoe. Okay, so I just got to break through. All right, that's one lamp. Oh, that's a pretty nice lamp. What the heck? So there's another lamp here. Where's the rest of them? Oh, there we go. I don't know how many there are though. I don't think there's any above us. Is there? No. Oh, another one right here. Is that all of them? Nope, another one there. How many lamps are there? I'm looking everywhere, guys. I don't see any more lamps though. Oh, yes, lamp. That should be the last one. And that's door open. All right, now what is this place? There's a seed. Okay. Wait, is this supposed to be glass? Hold up. Let me fix the realism. Now we can see. Okay, so we have a hungry chicken. And first, we got to flip all the levers so they're all open for him. Real quick, let's open those levers. And now with the seed, hungry chicken, come straight this way. I don't even know what the maze way is, but I think this should be straightforward. Okay, we're going to go through all the doors and we went the wrong way. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. All right, this way. Then you go straight this way. Come on, chicken. Let's get him to the pressure plate all the way over here. And nice. All right, cool. Now what do we got here? This is like a foresty area thing. Looks pretty standard. Oh, there's a thing at the end. A tool, a weapon, and food. Oh, that's easy. Here's a uh, food. A weapon could be an axe and then a tool. All we gotta do is actually just give the time to hoe. There we go. That kind of works. Oh, the door open. Nice. And finally, we get the treasure and a way out. Oh, and the really nice golden blocks. This is gonna be 3D done. And I would grab all this, but at the same time, we have other tasks to do. Let's go. Oh, we're back. Dimension conquered. On to the next. Oh, and now that's 2D complete, 3D complete, and now we're on to the last two, which is 4D and 5D. Also, let's go back to normal. 
normal. That's a lot better. But now we need a 4D entity. How do we get that in Minecraft? I'm not even going to ask about the 5D entity. We can't do that yet, but I might have an idea. See that craft on the screen? That might be the closest thing we get to it, especially because the base is bedrock. Hmm. So let's start with some glass. All right. First, let's get the sand. We cook the sand. That's the glass. Now we go to the nether. We need a gas and some blazes. This is going to be handy. I haven't seen a gas yet, though. Oh, and a uh, armor plate. Cool. We need blazes, though. Wait, is that a blaze? Oh, a lot of blazes. Okay. Let me real quick take some damage. I wish I kept that fire res potion. There we go. And nothing. Oh, well, that sucks. Oh, gosh. Okay. Okay. One at a time. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Three of them. Stay away. Big blade. No. Oh, we got the blaze run. No, we're done. Holy. Now we just need a gas. Okay. We got gas. Time for baseball. Okay. Almost there. Let's hit it there. Nice. And did that give us a gas tier? No. Round number two. Come on, come on, come on. Gas tier. And yes, gas tier. Oh, man. And so now to make what might be a 4D item, I guess, according to the devs. But we first make an eye vendor. Put the eye vendor, the gas tier, surrounded by glass. And now we get the end crystal. So, I mean, when we place it, it kind of looks weird. So let's try that. Okay. Here goes something. 4D entity. Come on. Come on in. Oh, yes, it worked. Okay. I don't really think that's 4D, but I'm just going to go with it. All right. Well, here goes nothing. Let's go in. Ooh. Oh, oh, a village. Enter the fourth dimension. Complete physics tasks to unlock. Oh, so this is how we get back. We got to do physics tasks. So first up for the challenges, we have make a snow heart. Oh, wait, is that physics snow? The heck is this? Oh, wait, this is physics snow. So when we go through it, it leaves a trail. Yo. All right, so we're going to go all the way here. And now we're going to make a snow heart. So all we got to do is go around, then just go down here. Okay, this kind of looks like a heart. Oh, gosh, this definitely does not look like a heart, probably. It's all good, though. Let's go ahead and connect it. And actually, not that bad. I like that. Oh, and that worked. Yo, we got a good old heart. It might as well go ahead and click that heart button or the like button right now. Up next on the face of challenges, we have this stinky cow. How does this have to do with physics? It just stinks, right? Oh, I guess smell. Clean the cow, new craft soap. Oh, first we need milk. Wait, low key, could I just get milk from this guy? Oh, we can. Nice. Uh, this is going to be stinky milk, I guess. And we need white dye, which I think we can just grab from here. Oh, wait, that's light gray. Found a fix. I had bones this whole time. And with the bone, we can make white dye. And this might be where we get the honeycomb. I really like this new biome, by the way. But to get the honeycomb, I think we just do this. Oh, and oh, forgot to get mad. Okay, nope, nope, nope. Okay, we got away from that. But now with the honeycomb, the milk, all that good stuff, we make soap. And with the soap, do I just like slap it? Nope. Oh, do I right click? Oh, does that work? Oh, it's scrubbing. Come on, Sinky Cow. I guess this is the smell going away. Nice. Oh, whoa, whoa. why is it red now? Um, okay. That is a very creepy move. I'm gonna just go away from this guy and let's do the next physics thing. All right, I guess we can do this one next with expansion point. It says unstable cavern, beware of the falling gravel. Wait, there's stuff like here. Oh, maybe we shouldn't do that with gravel. Oh yeah, this is bad. Okay. We can see little gravel blocks falling down. So the goal here is do not break anything. Do not place anything. Do not let anything update block wise. Oh gosh. Okay. I really just need to jump around in a decent way. Oh wait. Okay. This is the person we got to talk to. Let me make sure to have nothing out. Trap villager. Do I just save you? The trap, bring them outside. Okay. Come with me straight this way. Just don't place any blocks. How do we get past this? Oh no. If I place gravel here, does this make everything fall? Oh, we're good. We're good. Okay. Keep going, buddy. Oh, gosh. Okay. 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 Let's get you all the way up here. Come straight this way, buddy. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. No, 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 no. I messed up. Come on. Come on, buddy. Oh, yo. Okay. That could have been bad. Um, happy with that? Nice. Okay. That's three out of nine done. That was actually pretty cool. What the heck? All right. Now for number four. What the heck is going on with the ocean now? Okay. We have waves now and we have the beach villager. What do we got to do with this place? Explore the ocean and find hidden treasure. Okay. It's kind of hard to see with this. Hold up. What if we get a boat? Is this going to like push me around? Okay, let's put down the boat. Oh, yo. Oh, this is sick. What the heck? Okay, we're riding the waves. Oh my gosh. Okay, we got to find hidden treasure. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe we got to think this through. Oh, oh my gosh. It's taking me high up. Oh, this is sick. Okay, all right. Limb first person. It's kind of crazy right now. Okay, are there any abandoned ships? Oh, wait, wait, what the heck is this? Oh, it's right under me. All right, boat, stay down there. We're gonna go down. Chest, just about a treasure map. Wait, does this lead me somewhere? Are there any other chests? Oh my gosh, the oceans are wild right now. Let me real quick get up, get some air. What's in this one? Oh, an order of the sea. Okay, maybe I was supposed to find this then. I don't think they usually only have one thing. Okay, now with that, let's actually use our boat all the way back to the beach guy. It can get a little bit hectic in there, my goodness. And here you go, beach villager. And that's 
that's what we're done now. All right, what are we doing next? Baby villager. All right, what physics do we have here? They want a toy. Bring them a ragdoll? Huh? We could try the horse. Wait, so how does this work? If I just kill the horse, is it ragdoll? Oh, I don't like this. Okay, I guess we got to kick it all the way over there then. No horses were hurt in the making of this video, but here we go. Uh, a toy, I think. I, I think this is what the admins wanted me to do. Nice! That's fine. All right. You know what? No, 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 no. You don't get to play with that. That, that gets kicked over there. Anyways, what about that burning building over there? Oh, wait, there's smoke. Okay, we are getting into smoke physics now. We're saving the cat. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we are saving the cat. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me real quick break all the smoke I can. And just to be dramatic, we're going to do this. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, okay. By the way, there's literally fire particles on the ground. Not a fan of that, but it's all good. Let's real quick crawl in. Oh gosh, okay. Oh my goodness, there's straight up Minecraft smoke right here. Okay, where's the cat? Oh, it's an emerald cat. Oh, well, how's it going? All right, let's real quick grab him. Go back down. Here we go. And I think this is going to be the cat saved. And now it's with me. Hey, we did it. All right, that's six out of nine. Next up, let's go to the mother villager. By the way, cat, you can uh, hang out right there. I'm going to eat some of the cake real quick. Uh, so, sorry about that, by the way, mother villager. Is this another birthday party? Make banners. Spell out birthday. Okay. Oh, wait, hold on. There might be a chest under the table. This might be the way we spell out birthday. So, hold on. If we go all the way down here, ignore all the physics stuff going on. We get the birthday banners. Yo. Okay, let me real quick throw all this away. And let's go ahead and spell out birthday right here. So, we start with the B. Oh, we have physics too. I, R, T, and then H. Might need some blocks over here. Let me real quick fix that up. Nice. And now D, A, and Y. Birthday. Is that good? Nice. That's seven out of nine. Oh, and if you walk through them, they go all over the place. That's sick. Still don't know how this is the fourth dimension, but we won't question the admins. Let's go. Next physics challenge is probably going to be up on this tower thing, which says climb the tower, low gravity zone inside. Wait, really? How does that work? Oh, yo. We get low gravity and high jumps. Also, I just realized my cape also has gravity now. Okay, wait. So does it follow the jumps? Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. The cape is uh, having fun with that one. Okay, let's now jump over here. Nice. Go to this platform here. And it's actually pretty high. My goodness. Oh, gosh. Okay. Well, you gotta go. Oh, man. Keep jumping. Okay, I should probably go up here. I can't make up there. Not yet. Unless... Oh, nice. All right, that's a quick hack. Let's get to this corner. And now we jump up. Yes, we did it. Oh my goodness. Okay, falling right now would not be fun. You can also see all the waves from up here. That being said, let's open this up and oh, what the heck is this? 32 blocks of netherite, insane loot. Okay, this is incredible. It's sharpness 7 looting 10, why not? I'm breaking 10 shield and a stack of arrows. Did I complete the task? Oh, I think that's that's done. All right, one last thing to do and that's just jump down and we'll slowly fall. Wait, 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 wait. Oh gosh, good thing there was water right there. Now we have a water bucket. Anyways, that is now eight out of nine. And the last one is physics plant challenge. Clean up the house. I assume this is more of just having a bunch of grass breaking stuff. So uh, let's do the same thing again, where we pretty much just make this place a little bit better looking. Oh my gosh. Wait, okay. I understand now the challenge is the amount of particles on my screen. I cannot see. What the heck? Oh, there's so much going on. My computer does not like this video. Okay, come on. Let's get the cobwebs out of the way too. Nice. Can barely see, but we did do a good job. Ooh, okay. Uh, besides all the debris, I might have to move it out, but that costs some extra. So you know what? We're just going to put out what we can. There we go. It's kind of like Mona Lawn. Then let's run around. Let's get all that debris out of the way. Thank you. Oh, wow. It's actually pretty fun. I like this a lot. Yeah, looks pretty clean. And now that's nine out of nine. Nice. Task completed. Enter the fourth dimension. This wasn't the fourth dimension, huh? If this wasn't the fourth dimension, what the heck is the fourth dimension? All right, well, let's figure it out. Okay. Is it just going to be the nether? What if that's just the fourth dimension? Oh, wait, what the heck? The fourth dimension. Find the exit. Oh my gosh. Um, okay. The developers kind of popped off. Wait, is this parkour? Oh my gosh, wait. I'm walking on the fourth dimension, apparently. This is so weird. What the heck is going on? Okay, is that me? What is the fifth dimension gonna be if this is this? Go ahead and write the dimensions in the comments down below. I don't even know if this is accurate. Hello, Nesters. Uh, are they friendly? Nestor? Do I, like, kill them? No, I can't kill them. Oh, wait, there's a sign right there. Oh gosh, okay. Oh, this is kind of hard to see. Okay, it's easier when I get closer. Kill the imposter. Oh wait, which one of you is the imposter? Uh, is one of you the imposter? I can't even tell. Let me look around. Hmm, they all look the same, unless one is, like, wearing a mustache stash or something. Which one of you is a fake nester? I'm looking around. Maybe this guy? No. They all look the same. What about this guy? No. Oh, man. Wait, I think I found him. This one has a cape and everyone else doesn't have a cape. I mean, I have a cape. Wait, but if you have a cape, are you the imposter? Oh, we got him. Oh, and we can play soccer with me now. All right, let's real quick do a kick. Nicely done. And does that open the door? And that opens the door. What the heck is going on here? Oh my gosh. 
gosh. Okay, I don't even know what I'm seeing. Find the entrance or these entrances? I'm gonna guess it's the painting. No, it's not that painting. No, no. Bet it's this one. No, where's the entrance then? Oh, wait, it's this one. Oh, we found it. Oh gosh, okay, this is so hard to see. Okay, okay, we found the next one there. I bet this next one is a painting too. Maybe right here? No, bet it's right here. Nope. Oh, that's a, a door again. Okay, I bet these guys are the next door. No, no, no. All these are wrong. Unless there's one here. No. Oh, where would this one be? Huh? Let me think. Could it be this one? Oh, wait, no, that's just a door. Maybe this is a decoy. Okay, I don't like being inside of here. I'm breaking the paintings. We gotta figure it out. Wait, it's none of these. Wait, what? There's nothing in these doors. So this is a decoy. What about here? No. <gasps> this is it. Oh, it was a decoy. Okay, wait. So we found the right place and then we go through here. Okay, making moves, guys. And we found the exit. Yes. Oh, man. Oh, a lever. Oh, it's missing the power. Okay, that, that should be easy enough. Let me break each one of these things. Uh, okay, one redstone repeater there. Another redstone repeater here. Let's power that up. Perfect. Powered it up again. And it's open. Now, without further ado, let me get out of here already. And let's complete the fourth dimension. Oh, dimension conquered. And now we're back to normal. All right, we did 2D, 3D, 4D. That definitely wasn't 4D. And now finally, 5D. What the heck is gonna happen here? 5D entity. What do we place there though? Oh, click for command block mode. Wait, what? So I click this? Oh, for command blocks only. Oh, we're in creative mode. Yo, I'm not gonna do anything in case I lose a challenge, but why is there command block here? Do I gotta do a command? 5D entity. I might have an idea. And it could be grabbing a stack of these, but I don't wanna get banned. So I think I know a command from YouTube. I think the coordinates might be right there. Summon Minecraft end crystal right here. Let's click done there. I'm gonna break that. All right, now this should be ready, but before we do it, oh, it's not clicked to disable creative. Do I just click like this. Oh, and we're back to normal. All right, no more creative mode. And now without further ado, would this work? Oh, yo, it's making a lot of them. Oh, wow, this is actually crazy. So the devs are saying this is a 4D entity and this is a 5D entity because that worked. Nice. I kind of want to step in it, but I feel like that'll blow something up. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Yo, and it's me, 5D. Okay, well, I low-key want to blow it up because the door's already open, but I feel like this might be a really bad idea. Uh, do I do it? Do I do it? Do I do it? I'll do it at the end. All right, let's go in. 5D world. Unlock hyperrealism? Oh my. We're in a sphere in Minecraft. I'm not sure if this is 5D technically, but we have a big door right here we got to unlock for wherever the admin sent me after this. And it looks like we got to make a spherical item, a spherical mob, and a spherical block. And we're on a sphere. Interesting. Okay, let's start with the spherical item. Step one, squish a diamond. Oh, wait, there's a chest back here. Oh, with an anvil. Okay, we can do that. That should be easy. All right, and then step two is slice off the corners. I'm going to guess with a stone cutter and then compress it with pistons. Okay, let's start with that then real quick. Fall all the way to the bottom of this is so weird. Oh my goodness. It's all spherical. Look at the water. Okay, so all we do is put a diamond right there. Let's drop that. Oh, and we got a warp diamond. All right, just like everything else around me. Nice. Now we need a stone cutter. All right, so we got to cook the stone. That should be easy. And we need iron, which would be in a cave if we can find one. Everything kind of looks like a cave. Okay, this doesn't feel like the fifth dimension, but it is very weird looking. Like the caves are so weird. Like the entire cave is curving. What the heck? Oh, this is weird. Oh man. Should I fall down there? Probably not. We're doing it. Oh my gosh. Woo. Nice. I think I need redstone for later anyways for the piston. So we might as well grab this. Perfect. And wow, this is, this is definitely weird. All right, let's go back up. All right, let's grab that. Now we can make a stone cutter. And so when we put down the stone cutter and then right click it with a warp diamond, we get a super warp diamond. Now the final step. We need a bit of this. We need to just make a couple of these. There we go. Just one, two. And now we're going to make a piston contraption where I put one there and put one there. And then with the power redstone, we're going to connect it all to this one single lever. And so when we press it, it should do that. But what we're doing is putting this weird diamond down and see what happens in three, two, one. Oh, come on. And oh, and that worked. Yo, we get now a spherical diamond. This is so cursed. What the heck? Let's put this back. All right, let's go up the ladder here. And now for the first item that that's needed for the 5D thing, it's the spherical item right here. Nice. Next up, the spherical mob. Remove a zombie's limbs, help it grow, and then sand down its edges. Huh? Okay, we have shears. Let's find a zombie then. All right, this should be a zombie. Let's right click you. Oh, what the heck's happened to him? We got legs and arms. Okay, so we're going to make you spherical. Wait, does he talk? Oh, hello. How's it going? Help it grow. Feed one diamond block. Oh, okay. Uh, I have a lot of those. There you go. Got them from the last dimension. Oh, he's getting rounder. Oh, use a grindstone near him. Oh, wait, how do I craft this? I think we need a slab. Oh, and there it is. One grindstone. Nice. All right, so if I place a grindstone right there, does that work? Oh, hold on. Yo, he's a bull. <laughs> what? 
Oh my goodness. It's a circular zombie. This is adorable. What the heck? You know what? Not the most cursed thing we've seen today, I don't think. Let's go put him up. So we got the spherical item. Now it's time for the spherical mob. Let's put that in. There we go. And now finally the spherical block. We need to reinforce the golden block. Oh, that's the crap on the screen. Then cook it in lava. Then hammer it into shape. Hold up. We have netherite, so we're good there. We need a gold block. One sec. Oh, wait. This has everything we need. Lava pool too. Let me real quick put that there. Grab that gold block. And now we can go ahead and do the craft, which is going to be one gold block and then a bunch of netherite ingots. And we got the reinforced gold block. Okay. Do I place it under lava? Like this? Did it become it? Oh, wait, what is this? I just broke it and it became the gold block. Spherical gold block. Yo, okay. So apparently that's how you do that. I'm not a fan of this Minecraft circle thing though. All right, final thing to place and then we go through the door. All right, final one. Let's place that. And now we got the spherical block. Spherical mob, spherical item. And am I now worthy to open the door? Oh, I am. Okay, so what's next then? I guess let's figure it out in three, two, one. Will this be the fifth dimension? And now this is the fifth dimension. According to the devs, this is definitely not the fifth dimension, but we get to do cool stuff. So it's all good. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. That is going to be for Minecraft, but from 2D to quote unquote 5D. The 4D was probably the coolest one in my opinion. Let me know what the coolest one it was in the comments down below. But hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great one. And here's an explosion just like this one. Bye guys.